So this is my pickaxe demonstration of my iPod application into uh, my web service which is then talking to a couple of pickaxes. Let me show you the um, application. The application is a water meter or a damp checker in, in my old Victorian house. I'll put this up as the first demonstrator. Uh, anyway, so what have we got here? We've got a um, iTouch running a uh, application which is then hooked down to um, a uh, couple of pickaxes, uh, one with a sensor on it that detects damp. So currently we can see we have a, some values here. We have a value of three, current status is dry, the alert status is uh, none, and the high is uh, the high status of eight. Well today we had a flood and if I showed you the previous video we were at 28, last night we are at 107. That's because we had a bit of a flood last night. We can update um, the, um, the, the the inputs from the uh, web service uh, which then get picked up from the pickaxe just by wiping the, the screen and then we get a, we get an update with the latest values which is now four dry none and eight we can see that it's been updated at 554 anyway so what can we do we can put it on auto we have some other stuff we can do which is picking up um, the uh, data we can set it to automatic so it picks it up automatically every 10 seconds it will go and get that data whilst it's getting this data uh, the screen will go red and white depending upon whether it's uh, wet if it's wet the screen goes um, red obviously based upon the values coming from the pickaxe so essentially the pickaxe is putting an XML that XML is then converted by, through the web service to the um, applications on the iTouch and on off, you know, it's the same on a PC it's just a, a web based application in the middle there's a piece of middleware that's doing that bridging which is relatively simple to use what else can we do on here we can actually talk directly to the pickaxe I have to swipe there I can swipe left or right I can as I swipe as with any application uh, the code I've been put together provides um, that sort of operation so that you can change pages quite nicely. So we're talking here to, to pickaxe um, 002 or 02, which is this line here. We're talking on a port 5000 and it's been up for 22 minutes since I've last rebooted it. I can actually um, set some clever stuff on there so I can talk directly to the pickaxe. And I can do this what's called a modal test, a reset the pickaxe or I can unmute, uh, unmute the pickaxe. And the, the modal test is essentially taking the sensor and um, puts the output sensor to the input sensor, which essentially simulates uh, water. And let's do that. So we'll, we'll do a, um, a test on that. What it's now doing, it's just flicked out a command to the web service. The web service then talks directly to the um, pickaxe 8 which then talks directly to the 18 and if you can hear in the background there's an alarm going so let's have a look what we're, what's happening downstairs it's a couple of meters away from here uh, but I can hear it buzzing it says that we are currently wet the auto alert is set to um, uh, red as well because it's been wet so it's got to have memory if it's dry it, but it has been damp or wet it just remember that so what we can do we can go back we can we can now mute the pickaxe and for those who can have got superb hearing on this video the the video the um, pickaxe is now muted uh, I can then I can then uh, turn the mute back on and it will start buzzing away quite merrily um, now the issue there is now is that I now I've now got some some the pickaxe is aware of the um, the state of play that it was extremely wet a short while ago and that was because of course the um, we have it in modal test state, in the modal test state is where it's shorted these two um, sensors together essentially. But what I'll do is I'll just turn that modal st uh, state back off and then we can see that the um, sensor now has a, it will have its actual value but it will have the memory of the previous highs. Let's just have a look at that. Uh, just swipe that there. It's picking up the XML data takes a few seconds. It now says the current value is 2, current status is dry, it has been wet and the high value is 142. Um, I'll have a quick look at that again, I did that way too fast. So the high value is 2, I believe. Considering we were flooded out last night, we've managed to pump the water out, current value is 3, current status is dry, uh, the status is it's, therefore it's been wet 
and the high value is 142. And it would be 142 because that, as I said, um, is the modal state uh, value. So um, let's go back and we'll, we'll just turn, just reset the pickaxe. Um, I'm just reset the pickaxe and I go back to the main screen. Probably what's going to happen now, we're going to get some alerts on it. Yep, it says current value is the pickaxe is booting. As we can see, it tells me quite clearly the pickaxe is booting on these two here um, because it's XML. It really is not fussy about what data comes through. Clearly, I'm quite conscious of what I do send to it to keep it stable. And then we do a refresh because I have an auto on, on auto refresh, it will get the latest values of two, dry, none, and six. Because the pickaxe is remembering the values, not the web service. I can turn the auto status off. If, if I didn't anyway, it only remembers it for 15 minutes and then turns itself off. But if I've got some other hidden functions, I can set it for a day. So that if I want to monitor something for a day, it is now, it's going to monitor that for one day and then time out. It uses a cookie in the um, workstation or the iPod, uh, iTouch to uh, do that. Uh, I can sort of turn that crap off as well. I can turn that off as well. Sorry about the swearing. Um, what else can we do in here? We can quite clearly see that the web service has been up and, out, up and running for 26 minutes. And uh, that's about it, really. Um, that's the demonstration of the damp checker. Uh, I'll be putting up more information on the uh, web on the web application, um, and then followed by the um, architectural diagrams. The web service is available on the internet. <laughs> I have a buddy who checked it all out today, so that when I'm travelling, I can then uh, uh, do the work and get it um, pumped out in, in the emergencies. If only I could uh, stop the water from coming in, I wouldn't need to do all this. Thank you for your time.